Protecting America's entire southwest border now has a San Antonio connection. The first of more than a dozen federal agencies are now based here under one roof, monitoring movements, trends, and intelligence. It is called Joint Task Force West. It will be fully operational at the end of July. The night team's Jesse DeGriato has an exclusive interview with its director, who's reporting directly to the Secretary of Homeland Security. Floating in the skies near the Rio Grande, U.S. Border Patrol uses this aerostat to see for miles. Anything and everything illegally crossing into the U.S. have been targeted by what's been known as campaigns along Mexico's 2,000-mile border. What we seek to do is to repurpose, realign, and redirect those four campaigns into one unified effort. Announced last December by Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson with Harris at his side. Joint Task Force West being the largest of three from D.C. to the California coast. The new Joint Task Force West is located in this building that's being renovated near Fort Sam Houston. Once it's ready, it'll house 100 people with Homeland Security, Customs and Border Protection, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, up to 16 federal agencies. So it is a significant change in the way we've done business in the past. Uh, it represents a new era of border security and the way that we approach border security. By DHS having an even stronger strategic presence in San Antonio. But it's more at the operational level instead of at the policy level to make sure that we are prepared and positioned to address any essential influx in the flow of people like we had last summer. While also trying to track down international criminal organizations. Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Now, the former Border Patrol sector chief in Laredo says the new task force system is the biggest change within the Department of Homeland Security since it was created in 2003.